Good afternoon. Whether you are the exhausted parent looking to get some time away from your endlessly energetic kid, or you are an end the endlessly energetic kid, we all remember McDonald's play places with some degree of fondness. You can make new friends, get zapped by enough electric- static electricity in the plastic tunnels to make your hair stand up straight, and potentially pick up a disease or two. Fun times, right? That being said, with many McDonald's restaurants remodeling over the last several years, you've probably noticed that nearly all of the play places have disappeared. The sad truth is, whatever happened to McDonald's play places, they seem to have been inevitable that they would vanish at some point. Just think about how much McDonald's locations have changed over the years and how much fast food as a whole has changed. Really, it's no wonder why the play places are nearly gone, but let's get into the nitty gritty details. The fate of McDonald's play places comes down to, as with most things, the name of progress. We need a need to modernize and streamline services between 2000 and 2015 alone. Fast food services increased by 20% and they only increase every year, meaning in terms of size and profits. In order to keep up, chains like McDonald's cut back in areas like play places and seating and instead expand mobile ordering, increase the number of drive through lanes available, and improve technology. With fewer people eating in restaurants, it doesn't matter much anymore whether a fast food chain has a dozen of tables or a kid's place for kids to play. Everyone's always on the go, and w- with everyone in a rush, it does seem like children are the ones to have taken the brunt of this move to streamline living. Very true. At least in the fast food world. No, it's in the rest of the world. The, most of the world is very hostile to um, children and children's existence in public. It does seem like children are the ones who have taken the brunt of this move to streamline living, at least for the, for the fast food world. But maybe it's safer for kids that play the, that the play areas are declining due to some scary health details. While the thought of play places existing only in our collective memories may be depressing, it's our new reality. According to the New York Times, the trend using digital interfaces began towards using digital interfaces began in 2016 when McDonald's introduced screen ordering and, well, everything snowballed from there. However, there were other issues too, according to Reader's Digest. The, U- the U.S. Consumer Product Safety Commission found numerous unreported injuries on the outside of Big Mac climbers. Once these gave way to indoor play areas, the concerns worsened as reports of dirty nappies and ball pits and other unseemly substances came flooding in. Let's be real, nobody ever cleaned these goddamn play areas. My sister had her birthday there once when I was like eight or nine years old, and it it was dis- it, like the place was disgusting. Like it was not great. In fact, Food Service News rep- reports that in 2011, a professor at Arizona State University tested a number of indoor play areas after noticing rotting food in the corner of one her child was playing, and the result of the testing showed that many of these indoor bacteria are areas are tested positive for dangerous bacteria. So with health concerns and the ever-pressing diets towards modernity, the McDonald's of the future and all other fast food chains for that matter will likely become increasingly streamlined to satisfy demand for better and for worse. This article was read to you. It was written by Hannah Beach, March 23rd, 2023, bondmash.com. Now, Interesting. A um, couple interesting notes I wanted to note about note there. Yes, while I have my fond memories of my own childhood in the McDonald's playpen, even I have to admit that it was, in hindsight, it was disgusting. There were, you know, you know, I, I walked out of. I remember my mother being revolted at the fact that I came down a slide after me not coming out for twenty minutes because I was having fun, and her and me finally coming out down the slide. I was covered in garbage sticking to me, um, peeled band-aids. It's just, it's gross. But, like, that's also being a kid who gives a shit. You'll, you'll be, like, you know, it's, if worse comes to worse, you'll get a little, you'll get a cold and you'll be out of school for a few days. That being said, though, one of the things I do want to kind of touch on is the aspect of, kids not really being available to play in public anymore. And this this and and you kind of see this like it's been, it started in the 90s and it sort of has come to a head to where people love to complain that kids spend all of their time on their phones, on their parents' phones, on iPads, whatever, or playing video games, but they've never but they but nobody ever stops to think why. You're not if 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 you are lucky enough to have a backyard, 
there's nobody for you to play with. You're just kicking a ball around by yourself, having to use your own imagination, which is fine, but you can only do that for so long. Like, I, like it was not easy as a kid to make shit up, and I had the benefit of being neurodivergent. Secondly, you know, you start with, you know, back in the 90s, you, your, mother would, your mother or father would hand you 10 bucks, and then you could, you could literally... You could see a movie for uh, for five bucks. You could you could get a movie ticket, and then for another five, you could get a soda and a pretzel. Ten bucks, and then you window shop for the rest of the day. You hang out with your friends. Over time, you know, older people, you know, adults at that time, said, "I don't like these kids running around." Da 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 da. And it just over time, they just made it so places like malls. You had to be accompanied by, in certain stores, for most stores you had to be, to be going to, you had to be accompanied by an adult. You, you know, they would, you know, security would harass kids if they're, if they're wandering around aimlessly. They, like, say, they put, they start heavily enforcing loitering inside malls and you end up having in a space, no spaces for kids to hang out on. And then, you know, you get video games and the internet that, uh, coming about at that point and, and now kids, you know, instead of being harassed by cops for walking around their neighborhood, you know, are just staying inside, socializing with their friends through Discord, Snapchat, and other forms of social media. But And and what is even more egregious, I would feel, and I'm, I'm guilty of this too, is that spaces that are traditionally for kids and for the youngest generation, like TikTok, have been completely taken over by people who are older than them. I see people who bitch and moan and piss and shit and whine when teenagers are interacting with their content and talk, commenting on their videos, which, to be fair, I don't want, you know, if I'm talking about, like, some, like, high-level, like, adult relationship shit, or I'm talking about high-level finance and stuff like that, like, and, like, what it's like to, like, be working, paying taxes and all that stuff, I don't want to, like, see some snot-nosed 13-year-old saying, well, just work harder and get a different job because he's watched a two-hour Jordan Peterson lecture and thinks he knows everything. Um, I get that urge to say, fuck you, you snot-nosed brat, but we have to remember, we're, like, TikTok originated as a space for kids that we came into. And I just... I never understood the propensity for people who are old to not want kids to be around. There's a whole debate going on online right now that is trying to, like, that, like, or people are calling to ban babies from planes, ban babies from restaurants, you know, and all these things. And I'm like, is it any wonder that the birth rate is, is, is in the goddamn toilet? You know, like, I, I, like, money aside, the economy aside, climate change aside, all of these, all justifiable reasons to not have a kid. Why would I want to have a kid if, if, if it's going to be able to limit the things I can do in places I can go? Like, how are, like, like, I have, thankfully, if I had a kid and I, I have friends that would, you know, if we were making plans, they would be cognizant of that, you know, like, but what's, but, but there's many, plenty of people I've seen online who, whose friends are like, yo, why the, like, why the fuck are you bringing the kid? Well, they, they, it's, 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 I just, I'm, t I, I remember existing in an environment that was hostile to, environments that were hostile to kids as, as a child. And it always bothered me that my existence was such a nuisance to just existing that it caused people to want me to go away. And it, and it sucked. And it's, it's, to bring this onto the final point, it's like, it's why I think, it's like, it's like, I remember people shitting on Minecraft back in the day when I played it when I was like 11, 12, 13 years old. And I remember people dunk, like, like saying it was a shit game and stuff. And then I, I I'm, I'm now an adult. I am 25 years old. And I, and I, and for the last four years, I've heard people shitting on Fortnite. Now, for me, I am not a battle royale, a fan of the battle royale. But at but at the same time, I, I while I am personally not a fan of the battle royale, I am definite. I definitely understand. Like see that Fortnite is for the kids. 
who am I to tell them that their game is shit? Like I've I I I play Fallout. I played Fallout seventy six for six months po- like post launch. Like it launched and I played it for six months. Like I've pl- I I. I play some shit games i I play a game called swords with sauce that has that was a that is abandoned wear by its publisher i play shit games who am i to tell who am i to tell who am i to tell the next generation that a game that is so culturally important to them is shit because they did the same thing with me with minecraft and they did the same thing to you. If, if you, being older, they probably did the same to you when you were, you know, geeking about, oh, I don't know, Led Zeppelin or Nirvana or just insert insert anybody here. Like, you know, they held the, in the '90s. They had a whole satanic panic about rock music. Old people suck. We suck on some level. I think we should just let kids exist and not and, 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 and stop creating a world where we don't have places for them to be. Now, granted, the playpen areas in McDonald's were, I think, more for the purpose of, you know, getting screaming kids to yell at their parents to come into the restaurant as kind of like a way to, like, coerce, you know, make that be a thing. I don't know. Feels bad, man. 